okay guys so in this video i'm going to explain how to calculate a first in first out method when it comes to inventory valuation so when we talk about FIFO method this method assume that inventory that you purchase first is the one that you are going to sell first which means that when we do evaluation or, or when we calculate a closing inventory we are going to take the inventory that has been purchased last as an assumption that this is the inventory that we still have on hand okay now let's go to this example that we have that we are going to use to calculate okay then we have been given the information uh, of may from 1 may until 28 may and required they said calculate a first in first out method so for average weighted cost method please go to my other video i did uh, this one on the other videos okay then the information that they give us they give us opening balance purchase cost price uh, per unit number of units and they give us a sales and other purchases okay the first step that we need to do guys is to calculate a unit on hand because in this case it's not given okay if you check at the beginning we had 80 okay we are calculating on hand inventory on hand at the beginning we have 80 units and we purchase another 100 and again uh, we purchase another 200 and again we sold 220 the one that we sold we subtract because it goes out okay the one that we purchase is go in we add the one that we return is go out we subtract okay then we add 150 of purchase and we subtract another 90 that has been sold then we're gonna left with on hand of 220 units okay that's the first step that we need to do when we calculate our first in first out method okay now let's proceed now we have to check where does this 220 coming from remember the cost price of this bench they are not the same other bench is costing 100 and around 150 160 and 140 which means that we must pick the correct bench so that we can get the correct answer under fee for method so the one that we have on the opening balance we assume that has been sold because it's first in first out method so which means that the remaining units is from the last bench the last one that we purchase okay now which means that we are going to take from the last bench if you check the last bench of purchase we have 150 okay we have 150 units this 150 units it was costing how much it was costing 140 per unit 140 per unit then we need to calculate and get ants now we have a problem we left with 220 and we only took 150 which means that the other different balance we have to take it from the from the other bench which means that because we start down we have to go up until we reach 220 okay the other bench uh, the following bench we have a 200 units the one is costing 160 okay in this case guys which means that we need to take uh, only the difference between these two because we can't take 200 if we take 200 we're gonna have 350 and the remaining balance is only 250 okay now how what how are we going to do this we have to find how much do we left with so that we can get a total of 220 which means that 150 minus 220 is going to give us 70. So, which means that this 70 units is left under the bench of 200, which means that we are going to take cost per unit under the bench of 200, which is 160. Multiply by 160. Okay. And if you do this calculation, uh, this side you are going to get 21,000. And the other side, you are going to get uh, 14,000. Okay. 
then total you are going to get amount of 35,000. That's the answer that uh, you are going to get under inventory valuation of first in, first out method. However, guys, under this example, we do not have any damage, we do not have any written. So please make sure that you subscribe and watch other videos that I did under first in, first out method. You can also check uh, average weighted so that you can learn more principle because if we have a closing, uh, if we have a balance is like a, a written, which means that the calculation were going to be more and more complex. So stay tuned in this channel, guys, so that you can learn more. I'm going to see you on the next one.